Hi, it's Andrew from Aussie Sapphire. <coughs> Today we're just going to run through the Lawton mid-sized tumblers, which is a QT6, which runs one six-pound barrel, or the QT12 or QT66. <coughs> so we'll just um, touch quickly on the QT6, and we'll do most of the maintenance on the QT12 because they run the same, the same running gear. Um, with the QT6, you have a barrel guide that needs to be screwed on there. And the barrel fits in, fits in, and just adjust that so it's running central, and always run the barrel on that guide. And apart from that, it's just a it's just a shorter version of the QT66 or QT12. So I'll sit, sit that aside, and we'll do the maintenance on the QT66 or a QT12, which are exactly the same base for both machines. <coughs> Either comes with a full 12 pound barrel, single barrel, or two barrels being six pound each. Again, we have a barrel guide to fit. The barrel guide <coughs> fits into there. It's just got a screw that you need to screw into there before you start to operate. <coughs> so, always run the barrels that way in a six pound configuration with the lids facing outside of the machine. <coughs> if you're running the 12 pound barrel, <coughs> operate that way and use the guide. So <coughs> a lot of people do buy a, a QT12 and they might have six pound barrels as well. Uh, you can just run a six pound barrel singly on that machine and it won't, won't affect its operation. Again, the lid assembly is the same as the smaller, smaller tumblers. Use the washer to pry the lid, the outer lid. Remove that. Just give the barrel a bit of a stretch, especially the first time out of the box. Remove that, and it gets you into the barrel. And like always, wipe the wipe the surface clean with a piece of rag and make sure that that inner lid where the lid fits is nice and clean and dry and that this surface is also clean and dry and just reverse the, reverse the operation <coughs> additional information on the lids inside that cover so just reverse that and always fit that nut with the machine slot furthest away from the barrel. <coughs> Very simple machine. They need to be oiled before you start operating. Use a product like Light Singer Oil or some sort of generic spray. Don't use too much, just a tiny drop of oil. Just into each bearing. Or if you're using the Singer Oil, just one drop. Into each bearing. <coughs> and wipe away any excess. Be careful not to get too, get too much oil on there. Just one drop's enough. And do that about every month. <coughs> which usually equates to one full cycle of rocks. <coughs> so the shafts are rubber coated. One is driven and one free wheels. From time to time you'll have to adjust the belt. So to do that, that single acorn nut is removed after you fully disconnect your power from the power point. And that, that lead removes so it fits you around like that and <coughs> comes out like that. <coughs> the belt is, is tensioned correctly there at the moment. It comes with a a um, <coughs> cogged type quality belt, it's a gates belt. Usually it lasts a very long time but eventually it will wear out or need to be adjusted. <coughs> to adjust it's quite simple. There's two acorn nuts 
top and bottom of the motor. So simply loosen those off. <coughs> and you'll see when I push that in, it actually loosens the belt. <coughs> and I'll bring it across to the correct tension. So just nip those back up again. It should be around about 12, 15 millimetres of movement in the belt there. Nip those up. <clears throat> if you happen to eventually um, have a motor failure, which doesn't happen very often, but if you use it for enough years it may, um, again just those two acorn nuts to remove those, remove the pulley off and that motor will slip away and the replacement motors come ready to slot in. We always keep stock of those types of types of things. So to reverse the procedure on putting your belt cover back on, always operate with your belt cover. Just line up, line up the um, thread and put the acorn nut back on. And <coughs> just nip that up, not over tight. Again, the bearings are replaceable in the machines. They usually last for years and years if they've been oiled on a regular basis. Um, and just make sure you do use a thin oil and if it does get gummed up um, over a period or if someone uses a too thicker oil in there, just remove the circlips, remove the shafts and bearings and wash it all out and just reassemble with some nice clean light oil again. Um, they're a very basic unit. Read the instructions that are provided and you should get years of service out of it. Thank you.